Hello, this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're an OG, you know the deal. Welcome back to my little corner of Al Gore's internet. And it is a cool 70 degrees today in uh, the Chicago metro area. I'm not even in the Chicago metro area anymore. What am I saying? What am I saying? It just, I don't know. I was going with it. I went with it last video and I I can't help myself all right so we're here with a yet another speed build yes you guys you're going to see another speed build on this channel and you'll probably see several more after that but let me know what you guys think about that is that okay with you I know that I generally focus on let's plays but every now and then you know I'm just in the mood. I said that before and I'm working on something. So yes, you will definitely see them, but I just want to know how you feel about them. Anyways, this is a quick little speed build. Well, it's not quick at all. Um, this was actually a bookstore cafe uh, that I created for um, Windenburg and it has a old school medieval feel to it. Um, that's definitely the style uh, that I was required and I love it. This was totally out of the norm for me, um, but I'm really, really feeling building in this particular um, era, I suppose, style. And yeah, this, this really, I'm actually really proud of this. It turned out very well, um, at least to me it did. Let me know what you think about it. I mean, obviously this is just a the beginning so you don't know what it's going to turn out well you saw the picture so you know um but yeah this was a cafe with a bookstore in the basement so you have two options here you can was it a cafe yes you can <laughs> right you can use it as a cafe as intended or you can make this full on a bookstore which I have set up in the basement as I said before and the cafe is just a bonus that's up to you whatever floats your boat I'm here to support you right um, but yeah I made more room obviously for the cafe than the bookstore it's a very small area downstairs but I kind of felt like your sims would come in drink some coffee read a book or two so there's some like seating downstairs and most of the seating is upstairs and I actually created a little coat check I don't know why I felt like this would have been a fancier bookstore or cafe where you would have a coat check kind of bougie uh, even though it doesn't really look bougie from the outside it looks very like I said medieval uh, country theme but I would say that this was kind of a niche kind a uh, niche place I would think that it was purchased by someone that obviously lived in Windenburg or maybe even outside of Windenburg and they just bought a business and opened it up here in this amazing little town and established a coffee shop bookstore. What do you think? Maybe, I don't know. That's what I'm going with. You can make up your own story to go with this particular bill, but I just thought that was kind of fun. Um, yeah, it, it's honestly, personally, okay, we're about to get a little real here. I've always wanted to own my own bookstore. Um, if you are familiar with half price books, if you've ever been to one, when I lived in Texas, there was this um, half price bookstores that I used to frequent often, um, frequent often. Yeah, I used to frequent and it gave me that old bookstore vibe loved it. There were leather book, leather bound books. Uh, they had those safely locked away. If you were interested in buying those, you had to go to the front desk to get a key, but they had shelves and shelves and shelves of old books, uh, semi old books, and you could just get lost in the stacks. And I loved it. I would have my little basket and I would just fill them up with books. And I mean, 
a dollar, two dollars at the most. And I would sit in the corner on the floor and start sifting through what I wanted, what I wanted to keep. Generally, I would keep most of everything in my, excuse me, in my basket. Um, long gone are those days because I haven't quite found a bookstore. But let me tell you, there's nothing like the smell of uh, books. I do have my iPad and I rarely read on it at least books, but nothing can replace a real book. You know, I'm just nostalgic and I'm a little bit of a book geek, book nerd, whatever you call it, a bookworm. I don't care. Let me know in the comments below if you are too. Do we share that same interest? Are you a bookworm like I am? This is probably why I like to write so much. By the way, speaking of writing, um, if you're interested in listening to some audio of writings of mine, um, I, oh, I started a new channel. I called it, I started off with Calendar Girl, but I ended up renaming it to Pixelated Ink. And um, yeah, like I said, I, I share some of my writings and it's it's an audio form um excuse the acting because i am not an actor in any way shape form or fashion but i just wanted to step out and um share that with you guys i will have to say thank you to my friend keo sims who encouraged me to do this so i'm hoping that you will stop by and check that out um i'm fairly excited about what's going on with my channel and just adding additional goals in my life we all have to have goals right there's we should be setting goals for ourselves if it has to do personally with, I don't know, finances, or if you have a, a health goal, or if you want to write a book, set a goal and go for it. That's my little encouragement for you today. Also, let me know in the comments below if you if you have a goal, a dream, something that you've always wanted to do and you haven't been doing it. And just let me know if this is something that you've decided that you're going to take seriously and pursue, because I would really like to hear about that. I'm always interested in finding out what people uh, want to do with their lives. And it's always exciting to um, get to know people in that way. We're family here, right? We share, um, we share a little bit, not too much. You know, I don't want to get all in your personal business, um, but okay. We're not talking about the building here. We do this all the time. I'm always going off on a tangent and I can't help myself. So you'll have to excuse me if you're new. Welcome. <laughs> this is what we do here. Um, yeah. So I had a little bit of time with this building. Um, not necessarily the building in itself, but more or less my, um, my landscaping. This happens to me all the time because landscaping is my bane. I enjoy it, but I'm not that great at it. I've said this before, but, uh, so that takes me some time. Excuse me. I was going to yawn. It's getting late here. Actually. Um, I need to be going to bed here soon, but yeah, I enjoy landscaping, but, um, it doesn't always turn out the way I wanted it. So I spent a lot of time tweaking it, going back and forth and, um, just to make it perfect. So what I've been doing lately is doing the landscaping first before I actually go inside the building and furnish it. Now, I did furnish this one and you guys do get to see me furnish this one because the last um, build or speed build, you guys did not get to see me um, furnish this, furnish that building or that restaurant because I'm a genius. I did not turn on my OBS while I was recording that bit. So you guys will get to see this from start to finish and it is a long one let me tell you so yeah but what else are we talking oh yeah, yeah okay so the landscaping um i went with something that was a little whimsical kind of cozy because you're outside drinking coffee and things like that now i will say 
I don't know if this is about if this is my game or you, if you're um, seeing this in your game too. But it rains a lot in Windenburg. So eating outside probably isn't ideal, but there it is. You have that option. If your game acts right, um, mine doesn't. It always rains. It Well, it doesn't always rain, but it rains a lot. So outside activities never happen. Ooh, did you guys hear about... Um, the speculation, of, not about um, university, but something about a winter game pack. What is that? That was just a rumor that I happened to see on YouTube. I didn't watch the video. I just saw it in passing. And so I'm not really sure if this is me making it up. And I'll link that video if I can find it. But um, I think it was by Iron Siegel. And um, if it was, he said something about or he mentioned in the, the thumbnail about a winter game pack. Let me tell you, that would be cool. If we had a winter game pack, we need more activities in the game. I was just talking to Keo Sims the other day. It would be so awesome if we could have a golf course. Okay, hear me out. You have rich Sims, wealthy Sims in the game, the land grabs for one. Uh, the goth family, I would say that they're pretty wealthy. Wealthy people in real life play golf or tennis or things like that. Why don't we have golf courses? Even if it's a mini putt, a mini putt would be cool too, right? So I'm thinking that this would be amazing to add to the game, like a pack for activities or the hobbies pack. But outside of that, just activities. Like I said, a golf course, a mini putt, go-kart racing, um, back home, there's like this huge park where you can do all of that. You've got batting cages and inside there's an arcade and you have this huge mini putt, uh, with all these obstacles and there's a laser tag in the building as well. I would love to have something like that in the Sims, not necessarily the laser tag because I'm not really sure how you could implement that in the game, but definitely the mini putt golf course and the batting cages, go-karts would be amazing. I don't know. What do you guys think? What kind of pack would you like to see? Would you like to see the uh, winter games or winter pack? Um, that would be perfect for like a, a Granite Falls edition. Um, or is there a pack that you'd like to see um, besides that? Do you have some ideas? I'd like to hear from you. Let me know what you think uh, would be a great addition to The Sims. I'm always... Um, I know that The Sims struggles in a lot of areas, but I'm always about having suggestions on top of any critiques that you might have. Um, it helps to have a solution to the problem rather than always complaining about the problem. I don't know. What do you think? Anyway, so yeah, you'll see me putting the awning up here. I wasn't really sure about the awning at first, but I thought this building needed a little more depth. That is like the biggest problem I have with buildings sometimes that my, my, my front end, I guess the front of the house looks houses kind of look flat if that makes any sense, plain maybe. Um, so I always look for things that will give it a little more depth, maybe some different textures. So I definitely played around with textures with this building. I went from um, brick to wood to, or with this a stone um, to, I don't know what that would be called, um, plaster maybe. And I played around with the roofing color. You see that it's kind of two-toned. I, I don't know. I really like this building. I loved how it came out. It It's kind of similar to my Harry Potter building, um, but different. Um, I kind of use the same concept because I I am really trying to expand my, my building knowledge, uh, my building skills. So I'll be trying things... Um, out quite a bit. And if you follow me on the gallery, you'll probably see me upload like three or four different versions or two or three different versions of the same build. 
I mean, it will be a different build, but it will have the same, it'll be the same type of lot. Does that make sense? Just because I want to make sure that um, for what I'm doing, that things are how perfect, but I don't want to waste time that I've, you know, or like a building that I spent, excuse me, I'm really trying not to yawn in your ear, but yeah, if you take the time to build something, I don't want to just outright delete it. I do have a, a whole bunch of, um, incomplete builds. They're sitting on empty lots just waiting for me to come back and give them some TLC. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them. I did speak with Kiosims um, today and I was like, you know, I'm thinking about doing a video on lots that I have not finished. That ought to be interesting if I decide to do it. Would you like to see that kind of video with all the lots that I have, like, or all the builds that are kind of sitting there? Not necessarily as shells, but I mean, yes, they're shells because pretty much there's just paint and no, nothing inside. But I just wasn't happy with how it looked. Now there's one build that I've gone back and just kind of looked at it, grazed over it. And I'm like, you know what? This build isn't that bad. I'm just afraid to continue on with it because I don't know the roofing. I think is where I'm having the problem. I've always had problems with the roofing and I don't care how many tutorials I've watched. I just can't get it right. Um, so you guys will see me completely struggle through a build and delete it because the roofing that's why my my build shapes are fairly sim uh, simple. Um, there's nothing complex about my builds. I don't try to get really crazy because I have to consider my roofing abilities. Uh, maybe I should try to push myself in that direction or that regard um, because I need to be a little more brave, make mistakes, let people on the gallery you know, people in the gallery will tell you uh, in a heartbeat, uh, girl, that house is this and that, or you're missing a refrigerator. I That happens to me all the time. Okay, so this build I've uploaded twice. Let me tell you why. The first time I uploaded it, that was it. That was, I did not intend on sending, uploading this build again. But when I went to go take pictures, I noticed in the bookstore that the bathrooms did not have any toilets in them or lights. So I was like, yeah, I just uploaded an entire build with toiletless bathrooms. So let me go ahead and fix that. I did. I went ahead and put a quick blurb that I added toilets to this lot and um, was re-uploading it. So there's this building is on here on the gallery twice, as well as Sweet Tomatoes. Sweet Tomatoes, it was up twice by mistake. The, the gallery went down for a second. And so it was just like clocking. And I thought, oh gosh, I'm going to have to force my game to quit because it wouldn't, um, the game wouldn't catch up or something. I don't know. It was weird. And so I thought that I didn't upload Sweet Tomatoes to the gallery. I re-uploaded it when I got back into the game. And lo and behold, there are two Sweet Tomatoes. So yeah, um, I don't make it a habit of uploading my uh, houses more than once. I have done it in the past because I will go back and look at a house again, um, one that I've already built and change things around um, and things like that because there are a lot of houses that are full on failures or I look back and I'm like, what was I thinking? I wasn't, this is ugly or whatever. And I want to go back and fix those houses. There's a few houses on, um, my gallery that I need to go back and look at because I'm a better builder now. I'm not the greatest builder, but I am better than I was when I first started. So I want to go back and see if I can fix those builds. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe, maybe that'll be something else I'll do as well. So what do we have so far? We have builds that I'd never finish and builds that require some TLC.
Um, well, okay. Well, I think that's all that I have for you guys today. I don't want to keep you long because I know you have things to do and I definitely need to get to bed because I have the yawnies. But if you're not a member of the family, I would love for you to join us. It's fairly simple. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know every time I upload and Bob's your uncle, you're part of the family. I do hope you enjoyed this uh, this speed build. Please do me a favor and give me a like, comment below, and share this video. It will definitely help grow the channel. And I just want to give a special thank you to all of you who stopped by and watched my videos and who've hung in there, hung in there with me this far. You're really appreciated. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Ciao. Ryan Little. <laughs>
I can barely 